What if I told you the world's most famous places? The Great Wall of China, the Amazon rainforest, even the Leaning Tower of Pisa, are hiding geography myths that billions still believe? Just like the Amazon's boiling river that scientists once dismissed as a legend, until one geologist risked his life to prove it was real. That's how powerful myths can be. So convincing they've survived textbooks, documentaries, and generations of storytelling. But tonight, Geomap Unveiled is pulling the curtain back. We're diving into 50 mind-blowing geography facts that will shatter everything you thought you knew about our planet. From ancient legends to modern misunderstandings, each reveal will flip your mental map of Earth upside down. Let's start our list at number 50. Everyone thinks Mount Everest claims the crown at 29,032 feet, but the real giant hides under the Pacific Ocean. Mauna Kea in Hawaii, from its base on the ocean floor to its peak, reaches over 33,500 feet, nearly a mile taller than Everest. Why do we still call Everest the tallest? Maps and textbooks measure height from sea level, ignoring Mauna Kea's hidden base. This proves that tallest depends entirely on perspective. And perspective can fool billions. Would you rather climb Everest's peak above sea level or Mauna Kea from base to summit for the ultimate challenge? Sliding down to number 49, let's cross the sands of the Sahara Desert. Everyone imagines the Sahara as one endless sea of sand. But in reality, only about 20% of it is sand dunes. The rest is rocky plateaus, gravel plains, and jagged mountains. And here's the twist. The world's largest desert isn't hot at all. It's Antarctica, a frozen expanse of ice covering over 5.5 million square miles. The Sahara may look dramatic in movies, but deserts are defined by dryness, not heat or sand. Next up, at number 48, we dive into the legendary Amazon. Everyone thinks the Amazon is just a huge river, but it's far more insane than that. It pours more water than the next seven largest rivers combined, floods entire forests, and twists in directions no map truly shows. Beneath its surface, scientists have even found hidden underwater rivers, flowing silently out of sight. It's not just a river, it's an unstoppable living giant that supports millions of plants and animals. From the peaks of Mount Everest, we descend to number 47, a human creation wrapped in myth, the Great Wall of China. Many have heard it's visible from the moon with the naked eye, a feat so incredible it seems believable. But reality tells a different story. Even astronauts confirm that without aid, the wall blends into the Earth's terrain, too narrow and similar in color to its surroundings to stand out. Its true scale, over 13,000 miles long, is awe-inspiring. But perspective matters. What seems enormous from Earth is almost invisible from space. Descending from the heights of the Great Wall, we arrive at number 46, the infamous Dead Sea, often called the lowest point on Earth. It's true that this hypersaline lake between Jordan and Israel sits at about 430 meters below sea level, making it the lowest land elevation on Earth that's exposed. But here's the twist. Beneath the ocean floor, there are places far lower than the Dead Sea, like the Mariana Trench plunging nearly 11,000 meters below sea level. The Dead Sea isn't the absolute lowest point on the planet. It's just the lowest dry land we can walk on. Sailing north from the Dead Sea, we hit number 45, the equator, a line of eternal heat, or so they say. It seems logical. The sun beats down most directly at the equator, so it must be the hottest place on Earth, right? Not exactly. The hottest spots are often around 30 degrees latitude, in deserts like Death Valley in California or Libya's El Azizia, where dry air, clear skies, and land conditions allow temperatures to soar far higher than equatorial jungles. The equator may be steamy and humid, but it's not the record holder for heat. Gliding down from the equator, we land at number 44. Australia, often called the flattest continent. It's easy to believe. The outback stretches endlessly, and much of the land looks like one giant plain. But in reality, Australia has mountain ranges, deep valleys, 
and massive cliffs, like the Great Dividing Range that runs over 2,000 miles along the East Coast. The flat continent idea comes from early maps and aerial perspectives, which hide the rugged terrain beneath wide deserts and grasslands. Geography isn't always what it seems from above. Sailing south from Australia, we reach number 43, Greenland, a land often pictured as a frozen, lifeless expanse. Unsure, about 80% of Greenland is covered in ice, but it's far from uninhabitable. Indigenous Inuit communities have lived there for centuries. Thriving in settlements along the coast, modern towns like Nuuk and Ilulisat are bustling with culture, schools, and even tourism. Ice dominates the landscape, but life finds a way, reminding us that geography isn't just about what meets the eye. From Greenland's icy expanse, we drift to number 42, flowing through the heart of Africa, the Nile River. Many believe it floods the same way every year, spreading fertile soil in a neat, predictable pattern. In reality, the Nile's floods were highly variable, shaped by seasonal rains in the Ethiopian highlands and upstream tributaries. Some years brought devastating floods, while others barely touched the banks. Ancient Egyptians built intricate irrigation systems to manage this unpredictability, proving that rivers aren't just water, they're nature's wild planners. Crossing from the Nile, we arrive at number 41, a giant of a misconception, the idea that Africa is just one country. In reality, Africa is a vast continent made up of 54 recognized countries, each with its own culture, languages, and history. From Nigeria's bustling cities to the deserts of Namibia, the diversity is staggering. Maps that show Africa as a monolith erase its incredible variety, making it easy to see why so many people fall for this myth. Geography isn't just about land, it's about the people and stories that shape it. From Africa's mistaken unity, we move north to number 40. A misconception that stretches across continents the belief that Russia lies entirely in Europe. In truth, Russia is a transcontinental giant spanning both Europe and Asia. About 77% of its landmass is in Asia, while only 23% is in Europe, though most of its population and major cities like Moscow and St. Petersburg are in the European part. Thinking of Russia as just European erases the massive Siberian landscapes, frozen tundras, and mountain ranges that make up the Asian side of the country geography here isn't just political. It's a reminder of scale and diversity. Gliding over the Arctic waters, we arrive at number 39, where the icy North Pole holds a surprising secret. Many imagine it as solid land, a frozen continent you could walk across, but it's actually a shifting sheet of sea ice floating on the Arctic Ocean. This ice moves with ocean currents, thick in some places, thin in others, and melts with the seasons. Beneath it lies only water, not the solid ground people picture. Polar bears, seals, and other Arctic wildlife depend on this ever-changing ice, making it a delicate living ecosystem. Riding the ocean currents, we reach number 38, where salty tails swirl around the Atlantic and Pacific. You may have heard that the Atlantic Ocean is saltier than the Pacific, but the truth is more nuanced. Salinity depends on location, evaporation, and rainfall. While parts of the Atlantic are indeed saltier due to higher evaporation rates, vast areas of the Pacific can be just as salty, especially in subtropical zones. Oceanographers measure these variations carefully proving that generalizations about saltier oceans often miss the full picture. Sailing east across the Pacific, we land at number 37, where the story of Japan's islands takes a twist. Most people think Japan is just four main islands, Honshu, Hokkaido, Kyushu, and Shikoku. But in reality, the country is made up of over 6,800 islands. Many are tiny and uninhabited, yet each has its own history, wildlife, or cultural significance. Maps often focus on the Big Four, hiding this archipelago's full scale. Heading south to number 36, we find Mount Kilimanjaro looming over Tanzania and the myth that it's an active volcano ready to erupt. While Kilimanjaro is volcanic in origin, 
Its last eruption occurred over 360,000 years ago. Today, it's considered dormant, with its snow-capped peaks and glaciers slowly melting due to climate change rather than volcanic activity. The drama of a ready-to-erupt mountain makes for a thrilling story, but science tells a calmer, real tale. Gliding over to number 35, let's uncover the story of Madagascar and the wild claim that it split from Africa in a single volcanic explosion. The truth? Madagascar separated from the African mainland gradually over tens of millions of years due to tectonic plate movements. Not a sudden eruption, volcanoes played a role in shaping parts of the island. But the majestic split was a slow, patient dance of Earth's shifting crust. Climbing next to number 34, let's tackle the Rocky Mountains and the common claim that they're older than the Appalachians. Actually, the Appalachians are far more ancient, forming around 480 million years ago, while the Rockies rose much later, about 80 to 55 million years ago during the Laramide orogeny. Time has worn down the Appalachians into rolling hills, while the Rockies still thrust sharply into the sky, reminding us that age and height don't always go hand in hand. Sliding into number 33, we dive beneath the waves to the Great Barrier Reef, often pictured as one endless ribbon of coral. In reality, the reef is made up of over 2,900 individual reefs scattered across 900 islands, stretching more than 1,400 miles. Currents, lagoons, and channels break it up naturally, creating a complex underwater mosaic rather than a single unbroken wall. Nature doesn't build in straight lines. It crafts ecosystems full of twists, gaps, and surprises. Gliding into number 32, we head toward the icy landscapes of Iceland, often imagined as a frozen rock with nothing green in sight. But Iceland isn't barren at all. It's home to moss fields that cover entire lava plains, birch woodlands that are slowly returning through reforestation, and valleys filled with wildflowers in summer. About 40% of the country has some form of vegetation, and while trees are fewer due to ancient deforestation and harsh winds, Iceland is far from lifeless. Its volcanic soil is surprisingly fertile, supporting grazing lands, farms, and geothermal heated greenhouses that grow everything from tomatoes to bananas. Iceland may wear a coat of ice, but underneath, life thrives in colors most visitors never expect. Drifting into number 31, we land in the middle of the Pacific, where many people picture Hawaii as a chain of islands simply floating on the ocean like a giant tropical raft. But Hawaii isn't drifting on water at all. Each island is actually the exposed tip of massive volcanoes rising from the seafloor, anchored to the Pacific plate. Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa, for example, extend over nine kilometers from base to summit, making them some of the largest mountains on Earth. What you see above sea level is just the tiny crown of an enormous volcanic structure built over millions of years. The floating island idea sounds poetic, but the truth is far more dramatic. Hawaii is the visible edge of a colossal volcanic factory powered by one of the most active hotspots on the planet. Sliding into number 30, let's talk about the mighty Mississippi River, often crowned as North America's longest. Here's the twist. If you measure the Missouri River from its source to where it joins the Mississippi, it's actually longer. The Missouri stretches 2,341 miles, while the Mississippi alone runs about 2,320 miles combined. They form the continent's true longest river system, but popular perception gives the Mississippi all the glory. Maps, history books, and even school lessons often simplify river facts, but the reality flows differently. So next time someone brags about the Mississippi, you can tell them about its unsung tributary hero. Gliding into number 29, we step into the heart of the Amazon rainforest, the lungs of the earth, or so the story goes. Many claim it produces 20% of the world's oxygen, but here's the catch. Most of that oxygen is consumed by the forest itself through respiration and decay. While the Amazon is crucial for carbon absorption and biodiversity, it doesn't single-handedly supply a fifth of the planet's oxygen. The true oxygen balance comes from a mix of oceans, plants, and forests worldwide. It's a reminder that even the most famous natural wonders carry myths alongside their majesty. 
Sliding into number 28, let's cross continents, or at least the line we think exists between them. Many people believe Europe is completely separate from Asia, but geographically, they are part of the same massive landmass, Eurasia. The borders we use, Ural Mountains, Ural River, and the Caucasus, are human-made conventions, not natural separations. This division has more to do with culture, history, and politics than actual geography. So Europe isn't floating apart. It's just a piece of a much bigger puzzle. Gliding into number 27, we head to Japan and the legendary Mount Fuji, often imagined as a simmering cauldron ready to explode. While Fuji is an active stratovolcano, it isn't constantly erupting underground. Its last eruption was in 1707, and scientists closely monitor its magma chambers for activity. The idea of a non-stop subterranean boil is more myth than fact. Volcanoes have quiet periods that can last centuries. So Fuji's fame as a ready-to-blow giant is more dramatic storytelling than science. From the mysteries of Europe and Asia, we descend to number 26, a lake that's often mistaken for the deepest on Earth. Lake Titicaca, straddling the border of Peru and Bolivia, is famous for its high-altitude waters and ancient floating islands. At first glance, its depth seems impressive, over 280 meters, but it's far from the world's deepest. That title goes to Lake Baikal in Russia, plunging a staggering 1,642 meters, holding around 20% of the planet's unfrozen freshwater. Titicaca's charm lies not in depth, but in history, culture, and its role as a cradle of Andean civilization. Its floating reed islands and rich mythology make it a treasure of the high Andes, proving that depth isn't the only measure of a lake's importance. We've uncovered how some of the world's most famous places, from the Nile to Everest, the Sahara to the Great Wall of China, are wrapped in misconceptions and how science and logic reveal the truth behind them. So tell us in the comments, which myth shocked you the most or which one did you always believe? Part two is coming soon with even wilder truths that will completely change how you see the world. If today's facts blew your mind, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. You won't want to miss the next revelations.